Hi YouTube, uh, this is Jamie from Becoming Housewife and to start off today I just want to ask you a quick question. My question is, how was your Easter? Did the Easter Bunny visit your house? Did you have an Easter dinner? Did you do nothing? Our Easter was amazing. It was so fun. I love my little family, my little boys and my husband and I just feel so blessed to have them in my life. and. We had a happy Easter. Okay, so uh, go ahead and comment on your Easter. Comment on any questions you have. I really love hearing you from you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and jump into the March budget report. Okay, so March was amazing for us. It had five Fridays, um, which meant that my husband, who gets paid every Friday, he we anticipated a budget of $6,000 after tax reform, and he got a raise. His in actual income actually ended up being $6,246.91. Now, despite his amazing budget, um, we had to do a little bit of uh, transferring a little finagling and uh, from our other accounts and I'll show you why in just a moment here. So I transferred a hundred dollars from our sinking funds. We will get that hundred dollars back and I'll show you how that will happen when we get down on that part of the spreadsheet. Um, supplemental income, the 2097 was for I did a secret shopping uh, job last month and I finally got paid for it. And then we got $200 uh, because we had our baby blessing and my son's first birthday party. And we just had a family member who gave us a little bit of money to help with cost of food, which was very, very sweet and generous. Not needed, but super kind. We had $1,000 remaining uh, at the uh, from the last pay period in February to pay off our mortgage and car insurance that came out the first of the month. And so that brought our total income to $7,567.88. So $567.88 over budget. So income wise, that was a great month for us, but we had a few Murphy moved in moments. Um, Okay, first of all, our tithes and offerings, those were higher because we had a higher income. Uh, we paid 10% and um, we do a little bit of offerings too for fast offerings. Mortgage was the same at $7.9805. Our car insurance has gone up $10 and I always put it in red because I keep meaning to call about that and figure out what's going on, see if I can lower it and I haven't yet. Health insurance, four forty one. That stays the same. Cell phones were a little bit under, um, one hundred and twenty five. We budgeted one eight one hundred eighty five. Cable internet, ten dollars cheaper. I think that will be our new income rate is one twenty three eleven. But I'm just gonna wait for our April bill just to make sure that that's really what it is, and then I will change that to be the same. Uh, Dominion Energy, we went over $7.18. That's not as bad as it has been in the past, so it's an overage, but um, we're getting a little better. Hopefully in April it will be down lower since I'm not using a lot of heat or AC at this point. Uh, water and Electric was lower, $127.99. Mm. Groceries were higher. Again, we had this family party. Um, for my son's birthday and my son's blessing. Uh, so over here I just wrote the 2080. A lot of that went towards our family party. And then we I, I got sippy cups for my older son. He had been taking a bottle until he was a year. And then at a year they say, you know, kind of transfer him into sippy cups. And I just did not put that in my budget. So I took it out of groceries. Prescriptions and meds, I think I need to make this into a sinking fund because this isn't really something that comes out every month. Um, I used to get my prescriptions monthly, but now they're every 90 days. And so I'm not quite sure how much I really need to be saving for. But I think having a $65 amount in 
a sinking fund would be a good idea. This month we only paid $15.27 for our um, medications. And I think if I just start putting $65 aside each month, we'll be good. Especially because I have other things that are coming up. Like um, we have a really great therapist that my husband and I see. And I would love to have money in that fund so that if we need to see him, it's there instead of you know, us saying, oh, we really need to go talk to our family therapist and um, then having to find the money in the budget. It would be nice to have it already budgeted there. So I think I'm going to make that into a sinking fund next month. Gas, we went over $37. Murphy moved in. Our Murphy moved in moments. I had, this is so dumb, I had a $12 Wells Fargo charge because I have a checking account and because I quit my job, I have not been depositing money into my checking account and I guess part of the requirements for checking account is that you have to deposit money every six months and so I have a $12 fee um I really want to call them and talk to them and let them know hey I'm not working I need to either change my account cancel my account or something like that and see if I can reverse that $12 fee and then our kitchen faucet broke. So uh, $50.79 went to change our kitchen faucet. So uh, our expected monthly bills were $2,900 and we paid uh, $3,000. Initially, I had budgeted that we would say, be able to save $334.06 in our emergency fund. That did not happen. And... Um, I'll show you a little bit about what happened down here in our sinking funds and how we have this set up. Home repair um, and upkeep, we put $100 in. Part of the sink, uh, kitchen sink faucet, came out of this. the remainder of my or home repair budget. Um, from that $100, we also used some of that for our bathroom. Our anniversary sinking fund right here has $200 in it. Our anniversary is in January. We're saving that up. Okay, here is the big kicker that ate up a ton of our money. I totally forgot that we had to pay a medical deductible of $1,500 before our insurance paid for the rest of our medical coverage. Um, it This was, we just signed up for Liberty Health Share in October and I did not realize, I don't know what it is, but I just forgot that we had a $1,500 deductible. So thankfully, my husband had a really great month this month income-wise, and I was able to pay the full $1,500 um, with all of our medical bills from my son's birth. Um, our medical bills exceed $1,500, and so I paid that deductible, and so now... Um, We'll be being reimbursed for everything that was over $1,500. Okay, we put $100 into our family vacation sinking fund, leaving us with $300. Our car repair fund, we put $125 in, leaving us $170.20. We want to save around $10,000 because uh, one day one of our cars might totally break down and I want to be able to buy a replacement car with cash. Christmas, we spent a hundred or we put a hundred dollars into our emergency sinking fund. I spent a little bit of money on, I I spent five dollars this month on a cute little shoe tying activity book. It just or not book. It's like um a shoe where you can lace a string through it. It's actually four that came in the pack. They're really cute. It looked like a good learning activity for my son who will be almost two around Christmas and even if you can't figure out how to tie the shoes I think I'll have fun lacing the laces through the little shoe holes so that is what I spent from Christmas our yard care we put in a hundred we had 300 in this uh, fund but I gave three hundred dollars to the people who take care of our lawn and I just said you know any fertilizer that we need any potting soil, flowers, any yard tools that maybe Eddie, my husband and I, Ed, don't have, you know, we can put towards that. And so I gave them $300 cash. 
to get any supplies that we need from the summer and they're really good about getting me receipts back so I know where that $300 is going. So that's what happened there. Birthdays and holidays, we put in $75. We now have $31.38. A lot of that went to Easter and my son's birthday. Uh, those both happened. And, well, my son's birthday was in March and then Easter was the very first of April. So I bought my supplies in March. Electronics, we put in $25 each month. We have a total of $26.83 in that account. Okay, here is another thing that I did not budget for. Uh, so this little sinking fund, I guess we could have called, put this in the top again for a Murphy thing because it's not really something that we saved each month. But um, I had to pay for my IUD with cash because Liberty Health Share is a Christian-based health ther share. They don't cover um, birth control. So... We paid $1,082 for my Letta IUD, but um, the company will be giving us a $500 refund. So that's where I said I borrowed some money from my sinking funds to make everything come out this month. Um, and that $500 will go ahead and supply where I borrowed when that comes back into our account. Okay, we spent fifty dollars on clo or we put fifty dollars on clothing in. We spent it all this month. I got my boys, um, I got a blessing outfit and a birth birthday outfit. Our food storage, we had forty dollars in here. I spent uh, a lot of that on paper towels, toiletry needs, uh, napkins, plate. Well, not napkins. Yeah, napkins and plates for regular dinners and uh, just household item needs. I like to buy them in bulk. And so um, I can have them for a few months. And that was my food storage. Our pet fund, we put 40 in it. Um, our dog still had dog food left over from last month. So we still haven't purchased that. And so that account still has 61.23 in it. Okay. So, um... I borrowed some money. We put in $100 for eating out. We didn't eat out that much. I borrowed $50 from this fund to put into, um, this, this is where it shows that I borrowed from my sinking funds. I think I actually might just keep that $50 um, just transferred in there because we're going to be putting more money in in April and we already have thirty four twenty one and eating out. We haven't been doing a ton of eating out. We haven't been doing a ton of dates because we have two little babies. So um that hundred dollars at the top that you saw, that is where this came out of. I took fifty for eating out and fifty from our date nights because um we still had quite a bit of money in those accounts and we haven't seemed to be using it. So that is where that hundred dollars came from. I can replace 100 with some of that 500 from the uh, refund. But I'm kind of thinking, I mean, that is an option. I'm kind of thinking, too, though, to keep that 500 refund and um, put it towards our emergency fund. So our emergency fund right now, our balance is 17000 We have a goal of 30000 And so uh, if we can hold on, if we can get that $500 check and just put that straight into our emergency fund, that would be awesome. Okay, um, my husband, his mad money, um, he actually prefers cash instead of, you know, having it in his account on a debit card. He doesn't really want me to be able to track how much money he has. So when he had um, $100 or he had $129 this month and he just said, you know, he wanted, he wanted to cash it out. Um, and he just prefers bigger bills. So I gave him a hundred dollars. I think from here on out, I'll just give him $50 cash each month. My mad money. I spent all of mine. I must be the spender. <laughs> I spent $9 and 60 cents for a book for my book club. I, spent ten dollars I got a massage um I had a bunch of massages left went from when I was pregnant and I gave a ten dollar tip um I spent twenty five dollars and ninety two cents because I want to make a 
uh, anxiety blanket that has like a weighted blanket and you use pellets for that and a bunch of people in my neighborhood were making them. Um, so I bought $25.92 of pellets. Um, if you buy them in bulk, they're cheaper and we're just going to sew up our blankets. And so that is one of the purchases. If you buy them online, I think they're $100 for an anxiety or for a weighted blanket that helps with a bunch of things. My, my thing that I want it for is anxiety. And then I took $24 out of my fund for babysitting. So, and the reason I have a babysitter is because I have a little pool business where I teach swimming lessons in the summer and I just am setting up my website for my business and it's just nice having a babysitter who can come in. You know, she comes about two hours every week and I just answer emails. I uh, work on my business while she's here. So that is where my blow money, my mad money went this month. And then date nights, we didn't really, we spent $12 on a game that we played on a Friday night. Our dates are now kind of like in inside dates. And so um, we bought a card game. It was fun. And uh, so that is where our leisure sinking funds stand. Um, so this left us with $787.82 left. And at the beginning of April, I'll have the mortgage come out. And so I did transfer. So I had that $100 that I transferred from my sinking funds from eating out. But I also transferred another $400 into my account, which equals $500. So this is where the $400 is going to go back um, when I get that refund back from my IUD and this brought our balance to $1,187.62. So this is what I will carry over with me into April. Um, and uh, yeah, so $100 from the eating out fund will go into our sinking fund. The $400 that I use to pay off our mortgage that will go back into these sinking funds that that came out of. So in theory right now we can kind of say, yeah, maybe I, I withdrew my family vacation money and a hundred from our anniversary, but those are things that won't be happening till later in the year when I get my $500 uh, refund back from this IUD right here, then that will um, go the $400 will be replaced back here, and then we'll put $100 into our emergency fund. So, complicated, but at the same time, um, this is kind of a $0 budget, except that um, this is the $1,187.62 is what's being carried over to pay for our bills that come out the first of the month, which are our mortgage and our car insurance and that is what we kept over. And then I keep, I always keep extra over so that, that I can play, pay for my groceries. Over here, um, if you're wondering what these WF and CC stand for, this is just the accounts that they came out of. So tithes and offering come out of our Wells Fargo account. Our health insurance, we actually have it on a credit card that we just pay off right away. I know that um, you who follow the Dave Ramsey plan would say no on that. We keep a credit card because we do have Liberty Health Share. And so at a lot of our health insurance places, we have to pay for our medical coverage up front. And then Liberty Health Share reimburses us. And so we keep a credit card on file um, so that we can pay for those things. And if something happens that's really big... And we don't have the cash to pay for it because it's a medical emergency. Um, we have a credit card and we put it on our credit card. And uh, then Liberty Health Share reimburses us for anything that's over our deductible. And so um, we just have a few other bills that are on our credit card too. We have we like our rewards um, and we just pay it off. We never have a balance on our credit card besides our medical balance, which uh, I even try to pay that off and then when we get the checks from Liberty Health Share I just pay myself back uh, from what I put into 
uh, um, the credit card payments. So those of you who have a health share, I'd be curious to know how you guys handle that situation. Uh, this is just what we do because um, I, I haven't figured out a better way to do that. So that is our budget for March. I hope you all are doing well and that you have a great day.